coli crisis in Long Beach, Long Island is now over. A boil water advisory affecting the entire city has just been lifted. CBS News' Carolyn Gussoff is live in Long Beach with new information for us. Carolyn. Good afternoon. After a harrowing weekend here in Long Beach, that's right, the boil water advisory is off. Health officials delivering the welcome news in the city of 35,000 just a short time ago. They say after two days and dozens of water tests, the water is safe. I'm pleased to report this morning that the test results we just received are negative for E. coli. This follows results which showed no detections that we received yesterday. After two consecutive days of testing negative for E. coli, the boil water advisory is lifted in Long Beach. This after a difficult start of the summer beach season, residents and restaurants ordered to boil water to drink or cook with it. It's been hard. We have no coffee since uh, since a week in a iced coffee. A lot of customers left because of it. You know, so we lost a lot of business, unfortunately. We have a one and a half year old son, Luke as you can see here, and he has been bathing in boiled water for the past few days, which is either too cold or too hot and uncomfortable. The advisory issued Friday when E. coli was found in the public water supply. Three Long Beach elementary schools, East, West, and Lindell, shuttered today. School officials said the closures were out of an abundance of caution since there was no guarantee of proper hand washing among students. Alexis Pace says her daughter was diagnosed with possible E. coli infection. Extremely ill. She was in the hospital treated for dehydration. She is home, but she cannot get off of the toilet. But where the E. coli came from, officials say we may never know. Efforts to pinpoint the source are still underway. 